Hi, this is Dave L. David Likes Photography. I'm in Photoshop, and uh, what I want to do is, uh, this is CS5, uh, is I want to take this image and um, make a canvas gallery wrap at White House custom color. I need to resize it first in uh, uh, perfect resize, because if you look at the image size here, um, it's uh, 12 by 8, uh, actually almost 12 by 9, or actually 13 by eight and a half. But um, what I need is I'm using a special canvas wrap at White House, which is going to be a 24 by 16. And so I want pretty much the whole image. So I'm going to, and uh, since I want to use a special border and silver effects, I want this image to be uh, 22 by 14. Okay, and then an extra um, two inches all the way around. Uh, or four four inches across or four inches up and down to uh, take an effect for the uh, gallery wrap okay so the first thing you could do is to go into uh, perfect resize and we're gonna res this up and uh, okay so I open in perfect resize and one of the things you can do in uh, well first of all uh, I'm gonna go to the document size and uh, there are several sizes here, but none of them, um, well, it has a 24 by 36, but you see I'm putting a special border, and I want I want white showing. I want a 2-inch white border around the image. Uh, so I, I don't want to use this. I want to use custom, of which I've made this 14 by 22. Because if you add 2 inches, or actually 4 inches across, that, or no, I'll take it 2 inches, uh, it would be... The 16 on each each end it'd be a 16 by uh, 24. So so I'm going to start out with this crop, and as you notice, it's pretty close to the uh, crop of the actual image, which is a standard uh, uh, DSLR image crop. And um, so it's set at 22 by 14 at 300 DPI. And then um, one of the things you can also add is this gallery wrap feature. And um, White House uses a uh, two inch thickness for a one and a half inch gallery wrap, so it's already set to two inches. If I turn this on, this will actually extend the picture, okay, uh, more than you know 22 by 14. So it'll extend it an extra two inches. It actually copies to the side, okay, and that'd be great. But see, I'm going to use a special border, and I want white. Uh, wrapping around so I, I don't really want to use this so I'm going to turn off that gallery wrap but just another thing you can do is you can uh, you can darken it down uh, you got a couple other features you can make it a soft uh, make this soft edge so it's kind of cool what, what it does here but uh, right now I don't want to use it so I'm going to turn it off okay and I'm going to resize this image so I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and perfect resize uh, is resize an image from within inside of Photoshop CS5. Okay, so that was um, just waiting a, f a few minutes for, uh, or seconds or however long it takes to uh, resize this image. And um, okay, so now if we go back and look at this uh, image size again, you'll see it's 14 by 22 now with a it's roughly 80 meg image. Okay, now I want to go into Silver Effects Pro 2 and put a special border on this. So, um, so I go into Silver Effects, and uh, there's all kinds of presets in here. I could do all kinds of black and white, but I don't really want the black and white. Now, I've made a custom border. Uh, actually, there's several over here. If you go over to um, Image Borders, you can uh, put in all different types of borders. Um, and you can click on a type and you come down here to vary the border and there's like 2,000 borders. So I click on here, see how it's varying the type of border? There's like 2,000 variations in here that you can do. And you can, you can, you can resize it and you can do a lot of uh, different spread and clean it and do all this different stuff or do a different border. Pretty neat. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use this over here because I've already made a custom border for me and that's this one right here so I'm going to click on that and that's the border I like okay so then I'm going to hit OK 
and because uh, all I want is the border, but the problem is it's making it a black and white. So to bring it back to color, you go into, uh, and it made a second layer on top of the original layer, okay? So what you do is you go back uh, into the blend modes and hit luminosity, okay? And that automatically brings back the color, but it keeps the border, which is what I wanted, okay? And um, so now I'm going to have to add on to this, but before I do that, I need to flatten it. So I'm going to say layer flatten the image. Okay, so now the image is flattened. I don't need silver effects anymore. So I took that off, that panel out. Okay, now if I come up here to image border or image size, you can see it's still 22 by 14. But um, I need to get it up to, um, um, first of all, it's going to be a 16 by uh, a 16 by 24, but I also need four inches on each side. Okay, so I need an additional two inches plus four inches uh, on each one of these. So I got to add it six inches. So this, instead of being 22, um, is now going to be 28. Okay. Uh, but I can't do it here. Sorry. Um, so I got, uh, I can't, I don't want to resize the image. What I want to do is add to the outer edge. So I use, instead of image size, I use canvas size. And from here, I'm going to add six inches to both the height and the width, okay, and this is going to be white border, so I could use any color, gray, black, or, you know, set my foreground color, but I want to use white, okay, and I just hit OK, and we can bring it back to the size, and you can see it's add this white border around here, and if we go back to image size, you can see now it's a 28 by 20, okay, and uh, this is what I would import into rows, and uh, send off the White House. This is this. This will give me a two-inch uh, border around with uh, additional amount uh, that they're going to wrap around the edge of the image. But to give you an actual what it's going to look like when it comes back, is uh, we need to cut four inches off of each each end here. So I go back into uh, canvas size, and this time I put in a negative. Since I added six, but now I'm going to put in a negative four for the width, negative four inches, and a negative four inches for the height. Okay, it's going to say new canvas size is smaller than current size. Some clipping will occur. You know, I want it to proceed. Okay, and see, it's cut that down and left me a two inch uh, border around with this cool silver effects uh, border and the color of my image. And this is this is uh, how my gallery wrap from White House is going to come back. Okay. And so that's just uh, how you do White House uh, gallery wraps. And I happened to pick this specific size because um, not all image uh, uh, labs can do a 24 by 16. It's kind of an odd, uh, odd size, but it fits this image perfectly. And uh, that's what I wanted. So that's all I have. I'm Dave, L. David Likes Photography. Thanks for watching.